like every time that Indiana made a run at you, you guys came back at them and, and stretched the lead out. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're a good team, a uh, high-octane offensive team, um, and we just stuck to our game plan. We got, we're, we're a fast-playing team, so the ball gets out the net, we're, we're coming right back at them. Um, it's a game of runs, and I mean, it was fun to play against it seemed like you tried to slow on the Was it just the fresh legs of having the week off? And do you think it were being back at home? Is it a combination yeah, of I mean, I love playing at home. And then, I mean, as the students pack it out like that, all our fans, I mean, why not put on the show? I mean, I think it was a lot of fun to, to watch us play today. Man, talk about the blocks. I mean, you went off today by the blocks. Jesus What's going in your mind? <laughs> I mean, I just regular defense, I guess, maybe. Than I, used to playing against me, so they weren't quite expecting it, but uh, I mean, I wasn't actively searching it, I just kind of happened. And what was it like going up against a, against Brian? He's a real load in there. Oh, yeah, no, he's a great player, obviously, a strong dude and has some skill to it, so it was, it was, pretty, it was pretty tough playing against him, but it was, you know, it was a fun challenge. I guess how important was it to take away the rim? <laughs> and not let them work inside outside. It's definitely a little tough because I, I go for what, what they were starting to do towards it. I think it was like they would do a two post kind of thing. So I'll guard one and they'll try to pass it to the other guy. So it was really on the guards to try to help over. So it's kind of tough when I like when I'm trying to focus on guarding the other, the main guy. But then I'm also worried about the next pass. You guys played a lot of zone early on, especially. What about the zone gave them problems? I think it was just activity. I mean, we got a couple of deflections, a couple of late steals. Um, it's all kind of just energy, and then um, just kind of making them second guess a little bit, not really know where to pass, take their time. Um, I think it was mainly our activity and our energy. Quentin, uh, that Indiana team had a couple games recently in the 90s. You guys fell way down below that. Was it just the zone, or what were the big keys for you guys to kind of hold that team in check? I mean, I really think it was the energy. Um, our active hands, like I said, I mean, we got a, a couple of big steals, and with those, we just go on a break. Um, and that's how we get our energy. So, um, yeah, just just being active and playing with a lot of energy. The crowd was loud. I could barely talk to my own guys. <laughs> I mean, as far as matchups are concerned, but I mean, we love it. How how important was it for Okogi and Tadra to attack the basket like they did in the second half? I mean, it was big time. I mean, to come up with what over 40, 43 points or so. Um, it's huge for us. I mean, half half of our points, and with with them both attacking the way they do, it's it's hard to guard. When they attack, it also opens up the jump shots for other outside guys. That really just helps our offense up a huge amount. Quentin, in regards to what shows up on the stat sheet, you've been a lot more productive in the last handful of games or so. Is there a reason for that, or are you just kind of noticing that you're kind of nearing um, towards the end part of your career here at Tech? That I mean, definitely. I think that there's nothing to hold back. I mean, it's the last time I'm playing with these guys, last time I'm playing in front of this crowd, which is awesome. I mean, like I said, I mean, coming out firing, I think that, that has a lot to do with it. Um, just a mindset, leaving the crowd knowing that, I mean, Jordan said we play hard. No matter what, we help each other up off the floor. Just small things like that, it's fun to play. But yeah, definitely, I mean, I'm going after it. I got, I'm trying to play after this. What was Coach Bassner's message to you guys after the game? Hell of a win. Um, really talked about our 50-50 balls. Uh, in the first half, we got a couple loose balls. They got a couple hands, but we had guys diving on the floor, keeping the ball alive. Um, so I think that was a big key for us. Was we, we really talked about 50-50 balls. We knew that they were a team that was real scrappy. They were winging on the floor, too. Um, so yeah, I think we won that battle. Anything else for student-athletes? Okay, thank you, fellas.